Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, living, and amazing, spectacular, wondrous propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. If you'd also like to defend over the fatherland, off here to a 1v1 on Will Shank in the West is Jumirin Brav, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Rolling out here with the Sperrverbande. <coughs> Wolf versus Nief, this is Lavnes, fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin. Taking on the role here of the 7th tank corps, we got Ostrom here with Ostrom, obviously, entrenching tools, field officers, supply drops, and regular civil support with Pentagon of the Ostrom Pentafast versus Gut Motor, Counterattack, and Tank Hunter with a Pune Trooper Start, or Special Revive Counter for Loveness. We obviously don't have exactly a Pune Trooper Start yet, but it could be. Contract out here for Loveness, we got the Ostrom moving out there, of course, aggressively with Punea and all that stuff. Standard sort of opening here for the Vama, at least until that get ner gets nerfed. And Guinea's going for the car point. Is he going for the penal troops? He's going for the sniper. He's going for the sniper. That might not be quite as effective as it will be Ostorbun. Pani's sending out there. Not awesome scored out. And we do get penal troops out there for Lovnish. The Strafniki. Sam X here on the car point here. Note the way it's set up by makes it hard for the opponent to move to the point there since it also acts as a block. So thumbs up there. Ostorbun catches the comes there by the point. Quickly forcing Lovnish's men to fall back. And we get Tank Hunter. Wow. I didn't know Lavner's played Tank Hunter. Might be he's just messing about. Anyways, pod's been grabbed here. And you're foretelling up there. Grab the sun on point. Back here for your Merin. And now much going on there. Almost got the center victory point. Grab Northern Fuel. So Austin versus Tank Hunter. With penal troopers and scout cars. Definitely not your average match. At least half of it is. <laughs> Scout car following up there. We got the third awesome squad out for you, man. Note, of course, though, without an infantry company. Oh, it does actually have an infantry company. That's actually rare. Most players don't build it, but I guess you, man, just had a sixth sense there. And so went for it because that can just actually depend on us. Now the question is, will Lovness and Sumi's build it or not? Because if he doesn't, he's going to get pent us because most of our players don't bother with it because they don't need it. They can just skip ahead. So that's quite interesting. You're going straight for the car point here. People just got, of course, these rabbits. Scout coming forward here for Loveness. Grammar's on the point here with the engineers. Pushing forward for the glory of the motherland. Austin there, of course. He's fighting at a safe distance, so he's doing this sensibly, at least. And he's been pushed back on the top of the two Austin squads there. Your man, of course, quick to uh, land his infantry in aggressive manners here, and of course, keep them together, so Loveness can't suddenly your one with the Austin. Oh, the penal troops, he doesn't have Austin. That's nonsense for me. Come from the north, there's more sandbags there. Guess we'll be seeing at least a few more penal troops scored here for Lavnest. Ran back the car point. And go for that. Or is he going to go for the sniper in response to this? I mean, that's going to be quite the old work sniper. There's no end to them! I thought we were the supposed to be the ones without numbers, but these fascists, where did they keep digging them up? Hungary, Romania, our territories. What? Yeah. Turns out a lot of people hate us. Oh, Lamnes did not apparently anticipate that he built the infantry company. That's gotta hurt. I mean, again, realistically, again, most players never bother with it, so I understand why Lamnes might do that. I mean, I don't build it if I go for Dostal and build, but <laughs> you're in here apparently knows playing uh, 4D chess and actually built one. <laughs> Going for Punch, got his hand teched up. Very good. You mean that's good for Lamnes. North here, we've got the countries of the Pioneers, but yes, there were a surprisingly large amount of, you know, East Europeans actually fought for the Germans, including Russians, for example, just in Stalingrad alone. There's a big, roughly 40,000 of them actually fought in Stalingrad alone, Russians fought for the Germans, that is. Which, of course, something the Russians aren't keen on admitting, but, you know, that's the sort of thing there. Anyways, Poots have got holding up there. North Contra mistake for the Pioneers here, flanking up behind them. And we got medics on the way there for Lovness. He like his troops. He's going to need a bit more infantry, I think, long term here versus your medium. So far, got the infantry lead and losing the scout. Of course, also puts Lovness in a tight spot. That said, he's probably hoping to pull off some conscript Petrus package shenanigans here versus your medium. Pumas just falling back here. Of course, got the demo charge. He's hoping to bait your medium into that. Will your medium fall for that trap? Or what will he do? So Pom Company here is going to be probably some Maxims, maybe field gun, well, probably some field guns, maybe some Maxims is probably a better way to put it. Machine cover at the center. I feel like it could be more active, and particularly even just two Arsenal squads doing nothing here in the south seems a bit inactive. I mean, obviously he's probably waiting for Loveness, but I don't know, it still feels a bit, you know, wonky there. Anyways, tech there. 
Well, of course, no, he's not going straight for the tank return command in the fast T70. He is holding a bit back here, perhaps playing cautiously. Like to make a nice company up there for Yumin and the Sperrverband and Wolf. Punch goes the penal troops, quickly falling back there. Flame for us ready for both sides. We've got the two tools there for Yumin. No, we're both. He's not actually gone for mine tools, which was the Soviets is typically a bit dangerous. And most Soviet players, in particular the good ones, really like to mine up the map. Yeah, it's basically a standoff here, and this regard, Lovness is kind of coming at it because he's occupying two infantry squads with only one, and he's second to pay less for his than the two of those Ostrom there. Flank up behind you, Flame Vinny is constantly in there, of course, constantly back up, and of course, Merge and Engineers to keep them at full strength here. Don't just like he's not doing that. He's bringing in there, focusing on the Panzers first, since they're the bigger threat. Very sensible there, of course, it's also bunching up, then he needs for the Flame Vinny to do a lot of damage. Bit of a bad call there by Yomir, and obviously going to send up one of them in the building, but running to the heavy cover, and also more importantly, making the flamethrower here much more effective. Wipe there, Yomir, that's a great kill there for Loveness, 2 2 moving in. So it's 3 divisional feet on there, following up for Loveness. Almost getting. Oh, he got an Ostrom as well there. Really good play there, just highlighting how powerful the flame for is there is, but of course, all just the medium should have back soon there. So good play there by Loveness, and we do get the Peter S package, then the South, he also push ahead here, but. Not past the building, of course he may not realise it and then just lose some units there. Probably won't, but he could. He could. So he were to lose some units to that as well right now. That might just be GG as you remember, just be absolutely gutted. Like a fish. Pimps are out there, punishment of the flame of plan effort. Looks like he hasn't spotted the demo charge, he's not dealing with it. Back in after they're going on, they're field and throwing away, they're pushing back the armor car. Plus, we got the Petros, Conscripts there doing some heavy damage. Pioneers also load health, forced to treaty in the face of Loveness, improvised tank hunter team. Season the Southern Field player with the Ostrom, they're cutting off Loveness, precious fuel supplies, the armor cars being hauled back here. We'll need to replace some of Inter losses, going for more Ostrom instead of, say, Panzergun using the officer. Bit risky there long term. Bit risky. Loveness, meanwhile, put it for the tank return command. Just reinforcing, healing. Using his summon fuel pump, of course, big issue. He's probably looking to capture the northern one here. We got Yumir here trying to establish a weak defense alarm. So, also, the Pioneers used to slow up such an advance here from the Bolsheviks. Betting in the Ostrom to the range of the Penal Troopers. Sneaky love nest. And he's got the comps there waiting out there. He's hoping to bait the armored car there into range of the anti tank and it's all made, which is good to the shots there. I think, yeah, he's trying to bait them in. He's pulling back the Penal Troopers here. So just hoping the armored car will pursue and then go straight into the anti-tank grenades. Oh, Loveness, you cheeky bastard. Tank tank. Oh, wasn't finished. Oh, dear. Oh, the comms got spotted. Oh, that he set them to attack. I don't know. But he didn't finish that one. Oh, Loveness. Ach, nein. Seems they need to retreat. No, they're low in health. And the anti-tank comms goes walking to fall back. Got double flames was out here. There's a heavy investment. And again... Could be thoroughly punished for loving it if you were like much actually down there, but he's still forgotten about the tank in command. He's still forgotten about it. Oh dear. Armor car being fixed up there back here. Troops reinforcing healing. Heading for some points. Yeah, mines there. But still, double flame for us is also very powerful. So don't blame him for going either, but most amount of player players versus certain player will go for mine troopers because they will very much anticipate their opponent laying down a large amount of mines. Yumerian there going for another Panzer Grenadier squad, but again, so far, Yumerian has certainly proven himself to, well, not quite play by the textbook. I mean, obviously going for an Ostrom build, which is, you know, fairly textbook, but, you know, infantry companies, and then just double flame for us. He's definitely playing a, you know, a bit by ear as well. There you go, he finally finishes it. Well, let's see if he goes for the t center what he does. Got some s marks on here for Yumerian. Also worth noting, he has no anti-tank weapons whatsever. You can use some yap, T7 all over for Loveness, another army. Field and court here, he's playing it very aggressively, always wants to grab territory with it. Up north, comes from the to put back the armored car. Further north, got the humans of the Ostrom. Moving in the comms, got the Pioneers pursuing them. A lot of action across the field, if the Pioneers caught the laying down mines. Again, lot large S mine field of a in over the center victory point in the south here, further skirmishing here. Need to fall back here, I think. With the Panzer Moving in particular, the field gun won't be safe at all. S Mine sitting off there. He's reading the engineers before they get wiped out. T7 almost done. One engineers away there for Loveness. Possibly anticipate losing the engineers there. 
from the south full retreat and there go Tease and Light Tank out here for Lavinus and the Red Army, the seventh tank caught. Need to get around that building, cause they could be Austin hiding around the corner with the Panther Faustus. That's exactly what they were. And they're gonna Panther Faustus T Semi Light Tank. But looks like Lavinus doesn't give a rat's ass about that. He wants to kill them as many as possible and just fix it up afterwards. We see Lavinus definitely knows it's time for aggression and not for hand holding. Pack 40 in the way there though for Jumirin and the Sperrverbande Wolf. A Sperrverbande for those not aware. It was the German designation for a defensive for the formation. Like a defensive camp were basically just pulled together from whatever was available nearby. And usually then the deck has been designated with the commander of the set unit. Similar to a camp group, but again, where a camp group could sort of give the idea, you know, it could be used defensively. The Sperrverbande was very much, you know, defensive in nature. They were quite common on the Eastern Front and for example, during the fighting in Arnhem, this market garden, there were numerous Sperrverbanden folks on that came up, come up there to you know, help deal with the you know, Allies. So, little fun fact in terms of, say, German structure, organization, and sort of tactical things they would pull off. And they could be, you know, composed of, like, it was le left of a division or put together from all other sorts of units. Your man has yet to take up, then you might want to do that soon. In the south, they've got Pins with the Oswald Neck, around the southern point there. We'll have to see what Lovness goes for. Maybe another T70, that'd be the bold choice. But at the same time, I'm not surprised if Lovness is going to try and, you know, play bold to throw up his opponent, and, like, you know, put him on more pressure, put him under more pressure. There we go. Got a cold gears and slightly slipping up here and now. I do apologize. Continuing head, anti tank grenade assault. Not quite as it caught by the Indy 42 here. Lambda doing his best versus opponent. Austin charging the penal troops here, the Strafniki. Holding up here in the north, and you need to move forwards. And right in the south here. Grabbing the northern victory point. Pims have routed. Pims of the Pioneer. Front reinforcing healing. T7 being fixed up, logs pushed back. Armored car in pursuit again, punch that game snap at the T70. Up north here, we got the Pims pushing out the Pioneers. Northern big from season engineers, mines going down, very good. Troop reinforcing healing. Puns are immediately being routed. Demo chart still hasn't yet to go off here. And finally got some tech there going on for Yubiri and the Sperrverband der Wolf. Got a sniper out for Lovness. That's an interesting choice at this time of the game. But I guess he's got a reason for it. Honestly, I might have suggested mortars or machine gun, but then again, I'm not Lovness, so, you know. T7 there, of course, still needs repairs here. That said, he's also keeping up pressure on it. It's not moving ahead here. Probably wants to keep the T7 close to the sniper just in case we can't get bum rushed. Also, I feel like this is really risky. He keeps just a machine gun there. I mean, sure, it's nice, but at the same time, you know, good maneuver from Lambs Cruise to clear it out. And of course, in this case, it just invites a sniper increasing up. Northern Cruise with the 2 2 2. That's my girlfriend and the Pioneers. Clever there by Loveness. The Almost got the flamethrower pioneer team there. Trying to grab the center victory point, grab the southern munition point. That's what they another unit, another pin squad. Teasing to out there by the pack 40. And there you go to two going for Loveness Sniper. Obviously, if Lavinus tries to pick up soon, or what he will do here in the face of Yomirin, the south of Kims was the Oscar awesome, and more importantly, the Panzer gonna deal. There you go, Gabaldi Lavinus. Something tells me Lavinus is being a bit uh, sarcastic and perhaps a bit annoyed that. Well, he's generally confused as to what Yomirin is doing with double flamethrower pioneers. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Because again, on the surface, it is just an Ostrom strategy, like very basically, but you know, double flamethrower pioneers and for some of the early Panzerfausts might be confusing Lavnest a bit here. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because it's certainly in an advanced level of sarcasm, like just yes, ask your opponent to tell you about the strategy there. If that is the case, then. Oh, 
they're about to hit the mine. Oh no, they just narrowly avoided it. Bung it off. Down to two men, so have a Johnny in there. I'm north or something, grab the pins and engineers. Does he finally get them? So not to do that, I guess. Oh, full white there. Awesome spot. Bit the dust. But again, that's also why you need to care about your patient. As mines, again, they can be set off by other explosions. So, yeah. Nicely uh, dealt with there by Loveness. Painful there for your midden. Snobby there gaining nine kills. So, Paul McCall there is up. You can push for the Panzer Force soon. You know, Loveness got no mechanism. I'm a company up. He's going to hit from the pack 40. So now they're opening up as well. They're down to two men. Oof. Almost costing the T-70 on the hand. He's going to clear up the pack 40 here. But there you go. Panther form away. Oh, can't quite catch it. Come to the hiding. Up north, Port's killed there by the engineers. Mech and us on my company here by Lovenist. Back catch between force and healing. Panther 4 halfway done. Mines down for love and as far up north. Flares off from the sniper. Thumbs up. So we'll have to see what it goes for there. Probably the T-34 from the 6. They could also go for the issue 5 He does go for the T-34. Meanwhile, your Merin's Panda 4 there is right about done for frontline action. More mines up here. Really aggressive mining there. The enemy has taken Sneaky. Cheeky breaky. Two-two moving in again. Lines line up out of the field gun. Good hit. Start to kill the enemy 42. Panda 4 moving forwards. He's in his head, constantly there being flanked by the Austin, also getting suppressed. He's ruining his little ambush. Bit of a problem there for Loveness. Also, good point for the Panther, making use of the terrain here to avoid the field gun. Thumbs up there to your merit. That's a really good Panther for maneuver, though, of course, Loveness can't to a degree adapt to this. Of course, this is a weakness of the Austin. They kind of, you know, again, aren't great assault infantry. This is where Panther can do this really should be at, but, you know, they're back at base. And the Austin are not Panzer Grenadiers, as some of you might be noticing. Since the Panther is called, could have cleared out the field gun here, in which case the Panther may be able to move a lot more freely here. Particularly since they're out in the open, so they can't even hit anything. Team support going in there, Panther being hauled away. See if it's to be ready for Loveness and the Red Army in the south here. Popping up south, charging you, man, he's not paying attention! Got him, Himmel! A painful blow there. And a slap to the face, plus gets in the near squad on the other end, though. Unlove Nest. Panda Force heading out. Came straight for the penal troopers. Teach him nothing here. They love him kills, but he too. Armored um, cars also got 11 kills, actually. Field and misses. You may as well get a big victory point leader with Love Nest. Almost got the MD42 here. Almost got it. Can you get rid of it? No. Not this time around, at least. Well, Loveness is not far from another T-34 from 6, at which point he can really start pumping out in large numbers, of course. Humorin's about to be able to go for a Panda 4 himself, so both sides going for more medium tanks here. Nothing fancy, just more medium switch. You know, it's fairly solid. It works. A lot of the time, you know how to handle your tanks. They're taking a devastating hit from the Panda 4. you down to one man. T-70 up and getting the Pioneers. Pack 40 shoots with it on the T-70. Mines from Loveness. Good work there. Second T-34, from 6 almost done. More mines from Loveness. Up north, mine goes on the Panda. Oh, he's not paying attention. We could see him white there. Yes! He's down a one infantry squad. You mirror needs to replace those losses badly. And not with Oswald at this stage. That was definitely some failure to pay attention to the cause. And again, really just highlights why you need minesweepers against the Soviets as the Wehrmacht. 
So while the double flame flame uses like we need to be able to get like some nice shock attacks in there's some bit of success there's so the match goes on and love start laying down mines. Double flame for us starts to look a little less impressive. Strong in the building. It certainly renders the demo charge a bit of a waste. I'm not sure you with the T-34 there, but that's just to throwing waves in the Germans. Yup. Down that goes. That's... I don't know what happened here. Maybe it was a misclick. Maybe it was a really bizarre pathing error. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, he finally spots the demo charge. He finally spots it. Got one uh, IL-2P tap anti-tank bombing run ready. Got more awesome. Got a railroad to support here on the team from up north. Tree shattered, squirrels atomized. More squirrels just wiped from the very surface of this earth. In the northern victory point, the south there, we got uh, Austin moving in. So, yeah, Lovness is in a slightly awkward position here. We probably consider more field guns. They need to like ambush the Panther Force with the conscripts and actually destroy them fast. Not impossible, though. Not impossible, but certainly going to be challenging. One thing is here for Lovness. Got it from field gun the Panther Force. Almost 52 on that one. 375, that's 197. Engineers ready, ready there for Love Nest. Oh, the country just being absolutely just murdered in the middle of the bloody road. Heads are mine the south here. Enough need to expect to deal with this fascist incursion. And your Marine just adding in more to them. Guessing Lovness wants to go finish five, maybe now. Seeing he's not just going for another T-34-760. Back here, Trip's reinforcing. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Pantopo takes a hit there, ground the southern point. Now have a kill there. Yes, comrade. Here's in the arm of the car. Awesome chunk in the field gun, which is actually exposed. That's a bit of an open state. They're allowed because this is part of a bigger sneakier plan. There you go, quick up maneuvering. Love has done got that one. He's clearly kind of finished five. Probably was the pen of all that happens though. We'll probably consider another pen. Field gun here. T for the first coming in. Going for a ramming speed here, but gets caught up still. Oh no, it helps out. That set me it's about to push the pen into it, maybe. Gets one of the Panzer Falls, but loses the field gun and a T 34 in the process. Pimps in the south are being murdered by the double flame for our pioneers, and the Panther might be able to wipe them out here. In the center, Kansky now there's the pack 40 gets it. If you could steal that one, that'd be pretty big there for Loveness. But yeah, he lost the other Pimps from score there. Losses are running high here for Loveness and the Red Army. But admittedly, so are they for Yamirin. There you go, H5 tanks on the way for Loveness. Makes run here with the pack 40. He's attempted run there. He's going to need some more anti infantry as well, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Loveness, I don't think, is feeling particularly sympathetic towards his opponent's issues. Entry to farm, halfway done. Lots of mines here. Engineer squad wiped again. I don't see uh, complaining about engineer then insta wiping the engineer squad like that. Yeah. Need to shoot the engineer squad. H5 almost done. Pack 40 hold four. It's not being forced though. There's now the land to kill me also. Mine goes off. H5 ready. More Panther Falls here for you, man. Great from the Pack 40 and the Panther 4. Again, the pack 40 is very long. Help you might have to use the counter to merge with it. 
Let me see, of course, he does that. Nope. Pentacle push back. Half health. Also, most wiped out here. Loveness keeps fighting like a true fighter. Almost got the awesome squad there, but not quite. Pack 40 could probably get benefit from being hauled back for a pair. Slamming forward's got 25 kills on that one. 26. Grab the Norman fuel point. Pentacle moving ahead here. And send another pack 40. You may send lax more ways of holding up stuff like the HD5 here. Pack being hauled back for repairs. Well, Enforcement healing. Not really needs much repairs here. North King's picked back by the Panther 4. Awesome as the T7 the sniper. Just needs to grab. Thumbs up to Love Nest. Got the Panther 4 out. Yeah, reinforcing the Pack 40 there. Mines on the other side of the Victor Point. Narrowly managed to what getting wiped here doing that one. Done this up, trying to make, make that happen again. H5 gets great in the 2-2 two to two with 16 kills. 21 on the T70. Sniper with 27 kills. You got 349 versus 174. Love this looking in a fairly decent position now versus Yomirin. Partly because again Yomirin just keeps adding in Ross Torben, which tend to struggle a lot as the game goes on so you have to keep calling in new ones so not really a great idea and again this is where one pants can use the officer something else rather than just more and more ostrom also got the issue to file then ambush mode thumbs up to that they need to go about four minutes along there pack 40 is ready can of course also ambush that when he wants to he's gonna hit with minesweepers Good if me found the Panda 4. Awesome shot to bits. He needs to all getting shot to bits. He found a lot of things are getting shot to bits out in the open. Pentacle down to half health here. Comes hiding out there in case he tried to flank each to five. You can just pop them out of ambush and you wipe them out. I'd help deal with the Panda 4 here. Almost got the awesome squad there. It's a very conveniently large place, bush in the middle of nowhere. Hey, Heinz, that's an awfully conveniently placed bush in the middle of nowhere. Don't you think that one might be suspicious? Nine, Heinz, not at all. And there you go. Anti-tank ambush going off there. Nice setup, I love this. Two thumbs up. Panther 4 getting the shield, presenting damage. Pack 40 is not 10 round time, but still, that Panther 4 is toast. Other Panther 4 moving in, but won't be able to save the rest of two. Panther 4, another T-56 on the love nest. Panther 4 going for the issue 5. Pack 40 moving forward, Control supporting with anti tank rifles. Can he take it out? Arbor's got it there, it should fight getting the T2. Panzer 4 is out. Pioneers can't deal with the T70. Pioneers being shot to bits there, annihilate it. And honestly, you keep relying on Austin, it's not RNG that's usually, it's you know, a lack of proper infantry. And something tells me Lovenist is, you know, being a bit facetious there and his concern for that his opponent. He fixes with the Ostorben. Took him falls in healing. <laughs> oh, Lovenist. King out the bunker. Human debates here, 38 kills. Yeah, okay, match is pretty much over. He's just trying to get some feedback from Loveness. But overall, again, the thing with awesome strategies is, you know, at some point you gotta like transition into better stuff as the match goes on, like Panzer gonna need to like support your stuff there. Mortal Vault's been a great addition to actually building Infantry Company. Mortal been great in help dealing with some of Loveness stuff there, you know, smoke and whatnot with the support weapons and now actually the more aggressive place with the panda falls like you know again support with the panther list push in deal some damage cut his opponent just gonna go through this last bit here Sorry about that the 
And again, yeah, he's not a fan of the Arsenal there. But yeah, I mean, he obviously threw away some infantry in the early game. Again, losing the pants was there was a big mistake. But also, it's not replacing the pants because the match between one was a big issue. Not using nice the pants falls aggressively. Though, of course, at the same time, hard to use them fully aggressively with that. But again, that's where the pants goes come in. Mortars could be an addition there. And of course, laying down telemines, other stuff like that would have been great additions. And for that match, also, for example, using maybe the supply drop. Instead of, you know, like, you know, push ahead when they more machine guns, pack 40s, whatnot. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Try on something from it. If you subscribe, like, share, comment on the tell friends, tell family. If you don't tell enemies, listen, pearl, links, and cheers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.